Hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are now looking at the third part of our spreadsheet, right? And that's our graphs. So remember so far, what have we done? We've created a spreadsheet based on the questionnaire. We have inserted formulas and now we want to look at the graphs because we want those four marks. Okay, so what do we need to do in order to get those four marks? They tell us at least one relevant meaningful graph present a second relevant meaningful graph obviously these need to contribute to the solution and appropriate types of graphs and options used so you can use any graph you want to and then the graphs need to be easy to read and interpret so you can see number one over here i've got a different and you, you saw in the other videos i've got a different um, worksheet that's dealing with just my graphs okay these are not the best graphs that um, were inserted here so let's see what we can go and do um, let's say for argument's sake we want a graph based on um, the ages all right we would simply highlight by now we know how to do this we're going to say insert we're going to go to our charts and you know, a good one is always our 3D chart. We can see there. And I'm just going to, because it mustn't be in this sheet. Remember, it's got to be in another sheet. So let's say I've got age over here. So now I'm going to just go and edit this and say age. Um... Right, age of questionnaire respondents for people who had answered that you can see over here i've got the ages right and these were the number of people per age but is is this an, an easily readable chart right no it's not so what do i need to really add i need to add a little label over here and on the side and then it will be nice and easy to read so I'm going to click on my plus over here. I'm going to go to my axis title. And you can see over there, when I click on axis title, I've now got axis titles that pop up. I'm going to go over here. And what do I need to add there? This will be um, age. And over here will be number of individuals oh individuals all right again i can go and make that a bit bigger um you know i can resize that i can do whatever i want to i can change you know the way it looks but you get the basic idea of of what what we are doing okay um I should just do this number of individuals okay right so we've now got all that in place guys we can go and change the style we can go and change the color um you know we can do things like that as as long as and let's just go back as long as you've got one relevant two relevant to the contribution uh, to the uh, solution that contribute to the solution as long as the graphs are appropriate and they are easy to read, you'll get your four marks. Okay, so now I'm going to go and add another chart. And this, I've just popped in a formula that's going to deal with the number of males and number of females that have completed the questionnaire. I'm going to go insert. I'm going to select that chart. Then I'm going to move it over to my chart um, worksheet. All right, I'm going to change this title over here to males versus females who completed the questionnaire. Um, I can go and add in data labels as well. 
can add in excess titles as well. So I'm just going to pop in over here. Number of people. And this one I don't really need over here. So I can get rid of that. This I don't need here as well. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my data labels. You can see it pops up over there. All right. So now I can go and click. Please, when you click on your chart, you'll see the first time you click, it selects everything. The second time I click, it'll only highlight the one. All right, so I can go mail. And I can click on the other one and I can type in emails. Okay, remember when I click on my chart as well, the, the actual bars, same thing applies. So I can go and fill that with, let's say, orange and i can go and fill this with i don't know yellow okay and then guys i can apply different designs to it as well um but yeah there i would have um my chart indicating let's just have a look at this now the number of males versus females that completed the questionnaire and then the ages of those who completed it so again just make sure that it is relevant to your solution, right? That it contributes to helping you solve whatever problem it is. So um, using both of these might not be as relevant. You might use one to say, look, there were more young people that are exposed to IT than older people. You know, anything, anything like that. Um, but this is essentially what you want to do. Okay. And now we basically have our spreadsheet done. We've got our heading, we've got our layout, we've got some formulas in there, and we've got our charts as well. Okay, so all you've got to do now, once you're done with that, please have a look through the rubric again. Make sure you've ticked off all the boxes, and then you can see the next step is going to the database.